It's not surprising to see characters come and go every season, but some goodbyes are so much sadder than others. In the case of Chicago Fire, their Season 7 trailer teases Severide's latest fire cop stint, and many can't help but wonder, is Severide leaving Chicago Fire in Season 11? Find out all about this and more in today's video. Kelly Severide's upcoming assignment as a fire cop in cooperation with the Office of Fire Investigation is revealed in Chicago Fire Season 11 Episode 6 trailer. Severide's newest assignment as a fire cop is revealed in a brand new Chicago Fire Season 11 Episode 6 trailer. One of Chicago's top firefighters, Lieutenant of Rescue Squad 3, is also Chief Bowden's most dependable employee at Firehouse 51. The procedural has now reverted to its procedural roots, with Severide settling back into his position at the fire station after he married his longtime fiance and fellow fireman Stella Kidd in the Chicago Fire Season 10 finale. As shown in a new teaser, Severide and the rest of Firehouse 51 react to an explosion at a jewelry store. That is precisely what awaits him in Chicago Fire Season 11, Episode 6, All Out Mystery. Given the accusations of wrongdoing, it is understandable that the OFI would get involved. Severide is then drawn into the situation, which is understandable given that Kid is keen to learn the truth. So is there a possibility that Severide will join OFI? Let's begin by defining OFI, also known as the Office of Fire Investigation. When a fire is thought to have been intentionally ignited, the OFI responds after the fact rather than actively putting out fires. Severide has collaborated on numerous investigations with Wendy Seeker, or Andy Allo, of OFI. As she has remarked on his absurdly high level of investigative prowess, Severide has been employed by the OFI for many years. They are cautious to keep their relationship with him because he is good at his work, despite his insistence that he has no aspirations to sign with them. Given this, viewers would be curious as to whether or not this ongoing Chicago Fire arc will have any long-term benefits. In the event that the program is ultimately canceled, or if Kenny decides to quit Chicago Fire and NBC decides not to murder him, transferring to OFI might be seen as Severide's ultimate endpoint. The latter choice would make it quite simple for the first responder procedural to bring him back if Severide was necessary for their plot. This is a possibility worth taking into account, particularly if Taylor Kinney ultimately decides he wants to leave the program. It would be much more believable and fulfilling if the guy simply left the 51 to pursue something he was equally good at, rather than being killed off or moving to another city. Additionally, it would free up Chicago Fire authors from having to go out of their way to explain when bringing Severide back for a plot. His relationship with the agency has been developed on the show for long, and if it were to be explored, it would be one of the most carefully planned endings ever. There are currently no firm plans in place for Severide to depart Firehouse 51 in any way. After Casey and Brett's breakup and Chief Hawkins' tragic death in the first three episodes, NBC doesn't appear eager to make any major changes to the show this season. Severide and Kid's marriage will remain strong as Chicago Fire's central love story, especially in light of the numerous romantic breakups on the show. That implies that, at least initially, there are no plans to physically separate them. Moving on to other related topics, fans and viewers of the show have been wondering for a while now if Chicago Fire is ruining all couples to save Severide and Kid. But what exactly did the show do that made the fans think this way? Tune in to know more. After a few splits, it appears like Chicago Fire is breaking up other love affairs to keep Kelly Severide and Stella Kid's union together. The couple who has been dubbed the show's main romance dated for several years before getting married in the Chicago Fire Season 10 finale. Kid and Severide are currently readjusting to their usual routine despite a less than perfect honeymoon when they were attacked. Other Chicago Fire relationships, however, have recently come to an end, despite their continued hopeless love for one another. One Chicago decided to maintain Matt Casey and Sylvie Brett's romance, despite Jesse Spencer's departure until their separation in the Chicago Fire Season 11 premiere. Meanwhile, Chief Evan Hawkins and Violet McCommie's relationship was cruelly cut short after he tragically died in a fire accident, not long after they rekindled their affection after going through a difficult time. It's important to note that just the first three episodes of Chicago Fire Season 11 featured both of these events. Severide and Kid are currently the only couple on Chicago Fire who are still together, after Casey and Brett's breakup and Hawkins' departure. This can be done on purpose to keep the newlyweds in the foreground. While the two have never shied away from making out at work, it appears that the one Chicago series has intensified their chemistry. Since Severide and Kid have experienced a few breakups in a row, the series feels obligated to maintain their happy relationship for the sake of balanced storytelling. The Dick Wolf produced project has made an effort to inject some humor into his narrative despite dealing with very catastrophic occurrences as a first responder drama so that things don't get too gloomy and serious. Given this and the frequent breakups on One Chicago, it is extremely unlikely that Kid and Severide will experience any major problems that might result in their split. So what's next for Severide and Kid? Just because Severide and Kid's friendship has improved doesn't guarantee Chicago 
cargo fire will seize the chance to hasten their future plans. Having children is logically the next step in their relationship, but it's unlikely that they are motivated to do it at this time. Given their separate tragic past, getting married was already a significant decision for both of them. After seeing Casey for the final time in the Chicago Fire Season 10 finale, Kid has been concentrating on her work, aiming to accomplish so much with her passion project, Girls on Fire, and also becoming Firehouse 51's newest lieutenant. Along with leading squad, Severide frequently works as a contractor for the arson team. Given this, both will be committed to their jobs, unless NBC surprises them by introducing a subplot about an unexpected pregnancy. Even while it was wonderful to see Severide and Kid in such a joyful state, Chicago Fire didn't really need to split up the other couples on the show. After what Casey and Brett talked about in the season 10 finale, they probably should have put off splitting up Casey and Brett for a little longer. Even worse, at this point in the plot, Hawkins didn't need to be killed. He had such a fascinating personality, and Nichols and Greensmith clicked really well. The process could have profited more from that. Now let's talk about a certain character who might not be dead after all. Certain hints point out this certain character is alive. Chief Hawkins, or Jimmy Nicholas, might not actually be dead, as Chicago Fire may have already discovered. Violet and Chief Hawkins, together referred to as Hakami, are gradually coming out in the open with their love after spending the first few months of dating in secret. Sadly, just when the couple's relationship was on the verge of breaking down during the Chicago Fire season 10 finale, a terrible catastrophe befalls them, though it might not yet be Hakami's final chapter. The couple had been formally back together, but their different professions had prevented them from truly enjoying one another's presence. Without realizing it, they had been viewing Hawkins' impending transfer to a different district as the conclusion of the worst chapter in their relationship. In the Chicago Fire season 11, episode 3, completely shattered, Hawkins' romance with Akami was cut short by a cinema fire after a portion of the building collapsed on him, causing him to pass away at the scene. Violet made a valiant effort to save him, but it didn't seem to be successful. Even though Chicago Fire season 11 makes it appear as though Akami has passed away, previously made available set photos suggest that he may still be alive. Nicholas personally sent Greensmith a collection of images showing their fictional characters having a date in the park. The fact that this sequence hasn't yet aired on the show may indicate that it won't take place until later in the year. Perhaps Hawkins can be saved at the last minute by the excellent medical staff at Gaffney Medical Center. He was able to cover his face with his forearm when he was hauled out of the debris, so there weren't many wounds on his head. In the end, such action might have saved his life. And with that, we're wrapping up today's video about the latest on Chicago Fire Season 11. So what do you guys think? Will Severide leave Chicago Fire? Let us know what you think about the topic in the comment section below. Thanks for watching today's video, and before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. See you next time.